to the secret life of artifacts. In this series, we want to showcase some of the amazing artifacts that we have in the Westerville History Center and Museum's collection. The artifacts that we have here, we try to circulate so that everyone gets to see different ones at different times and so that we get to tell many of the amazing Westerville stories that we have. Today, I want to talk about artifacts from World War I. In 2017, it was the 100th anniversary of the U.S.'s involvement in World War I. And so during that time, we had an exhibition about World War I, and we included many of these artifacts on display. These artifacts come from what we call the Failure Collection. They are artifacts from a local veteran who served during World War I. World War I was a very deadly and costly war. The United States was only involved for a short period of time, but we had some local heroes who served during that war. One of these men was Walter Pete Failure. Walter saved his uniform, his gas mask, his papers, and many artifacts from the war through the years. In 1991, Pete's wife, Avenel, donated these artifacts to the History Center. Pete served in the 324th Field Artillery Division, and he saw duty in France and Germany during the war. The Failure Collection had long-standing local roots as Pete's family moved to Westerville in 1895. Artifacts like these from the Failure family help tell the stories of local men and women who live in Westerville who also served in the military. Inside this box, we see Failure's gas mask. There were many new tools of war introduced during this particular war, such as tanks, submarines, flamethrowers, and poison gas. Flamethrowers, for example, were used to kill life in the opposition trenches without compromising the structure of the trench itself. These would enable the Germans to reuse the trenches later if they were able to. Another really disastrous tool of war was poison gas. Poison gas began to be used by all sides. Because of this, troops added a new piece of equipment to what they already carried, a gas mask. Although poison gas was not one of the major killers of the war, it had potent psychological effects on the soldier. Chlorine gas led to death by suffocation. Mustard gas blistered when it came into contact with the skin and could soak through uniforms and burn the body. It is estimated that 90,000 soldiers were killed by gas on all sides. The Russians suffered the most because they lacked gas masks for protection. Luckily for Pete, he had a mask to protect himself and was able to make it home. We have these items in storage and aren't currently on display right now. But stories like this from local heroes help us to tell the story of how Westerville was part of World War I. We love it when people think of the History Center as a place to donate these beloved artifacts. We are able to provide access to these artifacts as well as the history and the stories that go with it. Some local history, of course, would be lost without donations like this. And we are so thankful for those of you who donate these items to us and entrust us to preserve this history. We encourage you to think about some of the beloved artifacts that you have in your house and save them and preserve them like Pete's family did. Without these donations, we wouldn't have be able to tell these stories. Thanks for joining us on an episode of The Secret Life of Artifacts, and we look forward to the next week where you get to hear even more about some of the amazing treasures that we have right here in the Westerville History Center and Museum.